Okay, so often you might find yourself working, for example, you in a browser page like this, and you want to work with stuff, but you want to have a little notepad up, and you create a notepad, bring it up here, and you've got it over there, and then you click on this here, and your notepad's gone. And then you have to come down to the bottom again. So you could go and do one of few options, but I'm going to show you one that's really going to work well for you and it needs a little application. So you could go Alt and Tab and move through windows like this to kind of look to your notepad and bring it up, etc. But that, that's a bit of a, a kind of tall order. You want to just have it on your screen. So uh, other option you could have is if you drag the notepad against the side here, you see and let go and then select your other window, then you have the two windows here. Yeah. But, I mean, in my case, I just want the notepad just to be hovering over a little small notepad because I just want to pop stuff in between. So yes, you can size these things and, and then work with it, but it is a little bit clumsy if I click on this side now, you know, the overlays and all that. Okay, I think you get the idea. Yeah, I'm trying to promote the <laughs> the program that I want to share with you. So it's how to get this thing pinned to the top. Here you can go look for desk pins. There are tons of uh, the sources of these desk pins. Most probably your safest one is to go to GitHub. Um, you can get the desk pins over here. If you go through any of these other ones, sometimes they package it with a little bit of a, another application that comes with it. So just be cautious when you install it. I, I'm going to send you to my uh, Telegram channel where I've got a whole lot of software where I've got the dispens that I use that pretty much comes from your kind of GitHub uh, repository. So you can come to GitHub and that if it's a bit unfamiliar territory then just go to my Telegram channel. Okay, So you go get it and run the file. It's a small file like this and you install it. Now I've installed it already, uh, but let me just run it a second time, see if it will. Comes up like this, next, install. Okay, I'm gonna say ignore because it's it's trying to overwrite my existing one. Okay, so there I've got it. If I now go down here into hidden icons, I'll see it there. Initially when you start off, it won't be there. So I'm gonna just go here and say close the spins. Okay, initially when you come, you're going to have your desk pins in your menu item, and when you click it, you'll see it comes up here as a little icon. Okay, so if you right click on that, you'll see it's got a lot of other options like enter pin mode, remove pins, and if you go into the options, uh, you can have a few other settings. But I'm going to show you the functionality first. So if I've got this notepad here, if I want to pin this on top of this page that I'm working, I'll go here and I'll click one mouse button. That's configured that way by default. If I click left mouse, it gives you a little pin here. You see this? So this pin, you just click anywhere in the window that you want to pin and it will place a little red pin on top. Look here, click left. There we go. Now I can click here in this section and I can, yeah, what can I do? I can. Let me just open something here. I can navigate around here and this thing will be stuck to the top as I navigate. It won't. If I want to take it off, I click over there at the X and now there's no pin on here. If I click here, that just disappears to the background and I've got to come here again and open it. Okay, if you look here now, you see that little desktop is gone here. For reason is when you run it the first time, it places it there, but after that, it puts it into this hidden icons on my particular setup. In yours, it might still be visible here. Yeah. So if I click hidden icons, there it is there. And mine is configured that if I click it once, it's going to bring up the pin. So if I click there, you see the pin, and hover here, click here. And here's another interesting thing is if I want to open up another window, so I've got this is my notepad plus plus, and I also want to work with both of these here. If I pull out another pin now. Whichever pin I pull out last will be the closest to me, the highest. It will be pinned the highest. By that I mean if this is here, you see this is pinned on top. If I come and I put another pin onto this window here, 
you see, even if I'm clicking here, it's not bringing this to the front. However, if I go there and I click on pins and I click in the back one, it's going to pop to the front because now this one gets a prominence in the setup. Okay. Bottom line is the pins work by pinning these little windows. Whatever's pinned will stay on top and the thing at the bottom won't affect it when you click on it. And that's the beauty of this. So let's just go quickly through. If I right click on this pins icon, uh, okay, again I can remove all pins here or enter pin mode. Enter pin mode is the same as me just clicking on that icon there. If I go to options, okay, yeah, the pin that you see there is this red color and I can change it. Okay. You can fiddle around with tracking. I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritties here. I'm not familiar with some of them though. So tray icon activation. If you have to double click, then you'd have to go here and double click that icon. But this is just a single click. Okay. Auto pins. You can enable rules. Probably put in the enable a rule and then set a rule where you give a different look there's classes and titles and stuff like that that's a bit higher grade there okay so hotkeys are probably the one that you would use is control f11 to bring the pin up okay toggle active windows control f12 i don't pretty much use this i just come and click there because i just need a pin so yeah so maybe we can try control f11 let's try that one out i'm going to remove the pins hover over there and click it it's gone uh, let me pull this one back. Uh, where is the other one that I was busy with? I'm going to just over there and pull it back. Was it Control and F11? There we go. There's a pin popping. If I press Escape, it's gone. So if I'm here and I want to do it, it's Control F11. The pin comes up. I click left mouse button and there we go. So that's a handy thing to note. Okay, but the key behind all of this is get this desktop thing and then you have this little window that you've got there and you can, to your heart's content, kind of go there, okay, and copy that and paste it there. You know, if you're working in a document, you don't have to let this thing jump away. So this is your little notepad that you can pin to the front of your screen and enjoy it. Hopefully that helps you and makes your life a bit easier.